in our previous session we have completed with editing products we have fetched all the data from the database and we have displayed inside the form and also we have seen how to edit the products whatever updation i have to do for the data i have just updated that one and that updated data i have stored inside the database okay this entire thing we have performed and we have seen from two to three sessions how to edit the products how to fetch the data now in this what we are going to see we are going to see how to delete that products okay deleting is very very easy when compared to editing part okay now inside this view products all the data and all the buttons will be displayed for this editing okay we have given here index.php edit product is equal to this one okay in the same way i'm just going to copy this one this entire thing i'll just copy and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this okay before that let me just show you the output i'll just come here i'll just remove this one and i'll save this and i'll just show you the output i'll just come back now when i just click on this edit products you can see when i hover on this below i am having edit product is equal to 2 but when I click on this delete, I am only having question mark view products. So what I am going to do, I will just paste that one, edit products. Now instead of this edit products, I am just going to write here delete products. I will save this. Now I will refresh this one. Now when I hover on this delete, you can see delete products is equal to 2, x is equal to 3. Okay, let me just change here to uh, delete product. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now when I just click on this delete, you can see delete product is equal to 3. But nothing is being displayed because still I have not written any data. Okay, now what I am going to do? I will just do control B and inside this, inside this admin area, I am just going to create one file. I will just write here delete product. Delete product dot php. Let me just change the spelling, delete product delete product.php. Now inside this, I am just going to write the PHP code. I will just write here PHP. Okay, first let me just echo here. I will just write here hello. I will save this. I will refresh this one. You can see this is active, but still that is not being displayed. Because inside index.php, I have that one. Okay, now, here I am having edit products. I will copy. I will paste this one. Okay, I just have to paste below this one. I will be closing this. Now, instead of this edit products, I will just copy this delete product. And here I am just going to paste. If this is active, then I have to display this page. I will save this. Now I will just come back, I will refresh this one. Now when I click on this delete, you can see hello is been displayed and this delete product.php is been included here and delete product is equal to 2. Okay, everything is working fine. I will come to delete product. I will just remove this hello. Okay, now it is working and we have included this one. Now here I am just going to check for the condition. If is set, now using get method, I will just write here get inside this i just have to pass this variable okay whatever variable we have created we just have to pass that one and here i'm just going to paste that one if this is set then whatever value is stored inside this variable i have to fetch that value here i'll be writing delete id delete id is equal to using get method i just have to fetch that data and my data is stored inside this variable and here i'll just write here capital t I will save this. Before that, let me just echo. And here I will be writing delete id. I will save. I will refresh this one. Now you can see delete id is equal to 2. Okay, here I am having 2. And here also I am having 2. Now I will just click on this mangoes. For mangoes, I am having id is equal to 1, 1, 1. Okay, it is being displayed properly. Again, for dairy milk, if I just click, you can see 4 and 4. Whatever data we are having inside the URL, that is being fetched. And that data is being stored inside this variable. Okay, now below this, I am just going to write the delete query. I will just write one comment, delete query. Okay, if I just write this much, all the data will be deleted from the database. I do not want to delete all the data. I just want to delete whichever ID is getting matched. Only that data I have to delete. So, here I will be writing where 
inside database i am having product id if this is equal to this one whatever we are having inside the url if this is getting matched with this one only that data i have to delete now once i have written this one i just have to write here result product and here i'll be writing my sql life my sql life query and it is going to take two parameters connection variable and this delete query variable okay delete products okay this connection file i have not included here because inside index.php we have included this file so inside this we have already included connect file and also we have included functions so again you don't have to include here okay now once it is done below this i'm just going to check for the condition if result okay if my query is executed successfully then i just have to display this messages i'll just come here i'm just going to copy this echo messages okay i'm just saving time now inside this i just have to write here product deleted successfully once it is done i should be redirected to index page i'll save this okay this is the alert message and this is i'm just going to open inside index file deleting is very very easy when compared to editing part now i'll come here i'll just come back i'll refresh this one now last shoes you can see i'll just click on delete to index page i'll click on view products now you can see only four data i'm having 1 2 3 and 4 only four data has been displayed now inside the database inside the database you can see fifth one i'm having shoes here fifth one i'm having shoes here now i'll just refresh this one okay now only four data i will be having 1 2 3 and 4 okay let it load now you can see only four data 1 2 3 and 4 now i'll just come to home page i'll just come to home page now you can see only four data has been displayed okay the shoes data is not there now when i click on this shoes when i click on this shoes you can see no stock for this category and when i click on this swiggy or amazon or nike okay for particular thing i will not be having any data okay this is how we are going to work i'll just come to home okay this is how we are going to delete the products we have seen how to insert the products how to delete the products how to update the products everything we have seen now from next we are going to work on some more things like you will be seeing many many things from next sessions okay this is the basic thing of admin page next we are having let me just show you okay we are done with this insert products we are done with this view products completely we have seen how to edit and how to delete insert categories we have seen now next we will be performing how to view categories then view brands okay insert brands we have seen view brands view categories all orders all payments all the users everything we are going to see okay still there are five more things to be completed inside this admin page once we are done with this we are almost done with this project okay later on we will be working on category 2 as of now we'll just focus on this one we are done with this deleting part as well